Okay, so let's replicate this in Solaris. First of all, I'm just going to copy over the materials that we have. So I'm going to go to material. And for some reason, on this laptop, it always crashes if I just copy them like this. So I need to go in for some reason into material and set this to manual update and uncheck that. Then I can select them and copy them. Okay, then let's go to stage. And let's also set this to Solaris. And this is not really an overview over USD or Solaris. I kind of assume that you know a bit already. This is just me showing you how to set up the same things that we did before. So in here, I'm going to have a material library. And I'm going to be in here and I'm going to copy our materials. So here are they. Cool. Okay, so let's start importing the different parts. So first, I'm going to have a sub import. And I'm going to call this import crowd. And I'm going to point to the crowd, final crowd. And I'm going to put that under geometry and crowd. So you can see we have that here. And if we open that, we have all our agents. That's pretty good. And uh, then I'm going to have a merge. I'm going to connect that one, and then I'm going to go into the materials later. And then we're going to have another sub import. And this will be import ground. And this would be under geometry ground. And let's have that. Where is it? Environment. And let's get that. So now we have the ground and we have the agent. And the last thing we need is the car, of course. So sub import again, import car, and then geometry and car. And let's point to the police car that is here, our car. And then we connect that. And now we should have the car as well. And we do. There it is. Cool. OK, so we have this. I'm going to add a merge down here. And in here, I'm going to add the camera. And I'm a bit lazy, so I'm just going to do import scene cameras. And then it's just going to pick up the camera. So I have camera one there. So we have it here. Do do. Sweet. And then let's have some lights. So I'm going to have a dome light. And also want to have a distance light. And I'm going to look through the distance light. I'm going to lock it. And then I'm just going to find some nice angle. Like here. Something like this. Sweet. Okay, so now everything should be set up to do a little render here. So let's see how this looks in Karma. You see, it's, everything is like very blurred out. And that is just because we have these default camera settings that we don't want. And it's to the easiest way to override them, I find, is just to add... Let's go back to don't want to render this anymore. So it's just to add another camera. So if I add a camera and put that in between here, and I just put that to cam1, I just type that, so it's just overriding that camera. And then I can change the attributes in this one. For the focal length, I can just go... Now our crowd is gone, so let's just... Click this tab and then click back again, and now we have the crowd. And then get it up a little bit. And then for the sampling, let's put f step to 5 and focus distance to 10. So let's see if this is better. So I'm going to go back to Karma. Sweet. Okay, let's start assigning materials to them. So I'm going to go to OpenGL again. Now that it disappears, back and forth again. So here we have them. And then in a material library, I'm going to remove that and out of fill materials. And now we have all the materials here. So now we can start assigning them. So for the car, for example, we can just take it and drag it. So now it's got assigned to that material. For the ground, let's just drag the ground. So I'm going to drag that into here. So now the ground has the material. For the zombie, Let's see if I go to the crowd. I want to have this default geo skin. So let's type that. 
default geo. So now I'm gonna add the zombie to all these guys. And then for the last thing, the hat. So remember, it was called hats. Let's see if we can find one with a hat. Uh, oh, here we have a hat. So we just need to type this star hat. Star hat star. And now you can see we have the hats here. We don't have the texture the zombie material. We can maybe remove that. If I take that, oh, let's just add the texture back in. So we have like one default texture. And it's not the sequence, like so. And now you can see we got that texture. And if we render this with Karma, now it's going to render it with materials. So cool. So you can see it's not that hard to get here. So the only thing that is left now is to add that variation that we had before for the textures.